Welcome or welcome back, beautiful souls, to the channel. I'm Chic Your Conscious Mentor, Medicine Woman, and Reiki Master. And today I'm going to be going over this full moon in Leo that is happening on February 5th, 2023, and how this full moon is going to affect you three days before, the day of, and three days after. In this video, I'm going to be going over what plants to use during this ritual or during your full moon ritual to support you really maximize working with the full moon, as well as all of the ways that it's going to impact you emotionally, spiritually, all the ways. And lastly, we're going to be going in a card reading. So I like to do this throughout for those who are new here. So you can really just feel like we're just chatting and having a conversation, but you're also getting to have an experience, a ceremony, and it's really, really beautiful. So before we get into this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, put notification bells so you don't miss a video. I do these videos every single month. And on this channel, my intention is to share with you how to bring a remembering of you, remembering of your spirit, your soul, but also to work with the moon, your shadow work, implants, and so much more to really help you be the most conscious being you can be while having a great community here. So I'd love if you can be part of that, just subscribe and but don't forget to put the notification bell so you know when I upload. And if you are interested in going deeper into your healing, as this is the year of number seven in 2023, this is a time of really going deeper into our spiritual journey. I invite you to apply to my retreats. I have five beautiful medicine retreats in 2023, each with a very different intention. So you can go to the link down below. And if you find one that really resonates with you, you can apply through the Google form and we can go from there. Um, the last thing I want to share with you guys is I've been alert that there is going to be a really big launch that's happening and I can finally share with you guys a first a launch date but also what it is so I have created a one-year calendar journal for you of, to help you work with the moon so I will be actually launching this on the day of the full moon in Leo which is amazing and it's gonna be launching on February 5th so mark your calendars and make sure you add yourself to the email list because if you're on the email list you get an extra little surprise and in this video beautiful journal I've created. We're going to be talking about moon rituals and um, things that you can do, manifesting rituals, abundance rituals. You're going to even have, you know, journal prompts that can help and support you for every week and um, different reminders as well. And it's going to be easily accessible for anyone. So if you watch my videos, this is going to be like an added thing that is going to help you alongside with these videos. And yeah, just share with anyone who you feel will be supported, who's interested in the moon, who's interested in this, this whole ex in expansion that we're going through. I'm so excited to be talk. And um, yeah, I really hope that it's supportive for you. So mark your calendar. February 5th is the launch date. Let's get into the ceremony with me. So um, we are doing the Leo full moon on February 5th, 2023. So I just invite you, if you can close your eyes, obviously if you're driving or you're just listening to this on the road, whatever, don't do that, but bring some presence into the space, just letting your body and your spirit know that you're here, closing down your eyes if you can, and just take a deep belly breath. Exhale out. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Just going into a natural breath. During the ceremony, I really want to call in for whatever messages, whatever, you know, signs, whatever that you need in this video for you to receive this in this ceremony together today and how to guide you through the three days before the day of and three days after of February 5th, 2023 in this Leo full moon. Take another deep breath in. Exhale out. We're inviting all benevolent guides, ancestors, angels to come into the space, guardians, light beings. Take another deep breath in. Exhale out. Open your eyes. So now we're a little present. Hope you're feeling better. Let me know how you're feeling in the comments after that. Just felt it would be good just for us to just get back into the space and, you know, whether you've been scrolling on YouTube or that you are just stumbling on this and you're watching the video or whatever, just bring some presence before so you can be more receptive with the messages. So during this full moon, we have Leo, any Leo's sun rising and moon let me know down below or where leo plays in your chart 
I'm a Leo moon for those who don't know. Um, so I'm definitely excited to see how this moon affects us all. But the first thing you need to know about this full moon in Leo on February 5th, 2023 is that what part of you is seeking or Im for impression of other people and get validation from external forces? So whether that is external forces from someone at work, your partner, your friends, you know, we're in an interesting space because we just recently like a few weeks ago or depending on when you've watched this we just had our lunar new year in the year of the rabbit but we also had the new moon in aquarius right and we've also had the season of aquarius so some of you actually might be even going into your saturn return of aquarius and we're ending that cycle in march okay so and for the rest of you, this is definitely a time where we're now starting the year. I always say the new year doesn't really start when we change the number of the year. It's really around this time. It's around the time of the lunar new year and onwards. So um, I just want to bring that into futurition, bring that into realization that, you know, now it's really becoming for who we need to be. And in this year of the year of the seventh, it's all about growth. It's all about spiritual expansion. It's about changing perspective, right guys? So um, one of the biggest things that's going to come up for you is asking yourself, in your lifetime, in this lifetime, what times have you maybe stepped outside of your truth or outside of your own truest version of yourself based on someone's response and judgment? And in doing that, that has made you create a belief system to impress someone or validation, right? So let me give you a couple examples just for to bring some stuff up or maybe just to bring things, whatever resonates with you right now. For example, if someone really ended up teasing you, and what comes up for me personally is like teasing you about your hair as a little kid, right? Your hair is different, or maybe something that was different about you. And you as a kid, you've soaked up like a sponge that impression or that judgment. And then you go into the world and maybe you start straightening your hair, maybe you start trying to change your hair, maybe you start dyeing your hair, and then you start dating people. And then their perspective of what's beauty, you try to shift that to be more desirable, right? So all those parts of us, and I'm going to go into this more and how this relates to boundaries, but I really feel like this is a great time to ask yourself, when did you have to step outside of who you were because of other people? Leo is the sign of the heart chakra, right? They love to have love. They love attention. They love to be the party of the room. They love to be validated. And when not validated, they feel really hurt and they will let you know that right their fiery energy will let you know that whether that is emotionally physically whatever way that you trespass that boundary now ironically enough even when imbalance the leo sign does react that way it is really interesting to see because when they're in their balanced state, they are the most strongest I find in the signs, one of the most strongest and boundaries um, because of how centered they can be in their truth and in their self-confidence when in alignment. So really asking yourself that validation. Now, another thing of a validation can be materialism. You know, how did your environment make you define how you need to validate yourself as worthy, right? This could be what you have. Um, this could be how you think. This could be what you see. It could be where you live, like anything, what you eat. What are those things that have triggered you in your past and have made you want to get someone to say, I accept you or you are more desirable? And um, in that, during this Leo full moon, three days before the day of and three days after of February 5th, 2023, we're really seeing that come up. So some of you might even be triggered by certain words. You might be triggered by just certain things. Maybe that day your hair doesn't lay well. And then, you know, on top of that, your partner is like giving you less attention. And then that triggers that, am I desirable for my partner? Or maybe that you're at work and you have this great idea and your boss gives you criticism. And then that brings you to that version of you five years old in class when the teacher said you had you got a C and in that you brought that belief that you were not good enough and if you had a C that meant that it was taking worthiness out of you that you were not smart enough so all these things we experience become ways that we um 
consider ourselves more desirable. And this is what it's coming up for this Leo full moon. Let's see what cards are falling out as far as validation. Um, cause I do feel like the wisdom Oracle card wants to speak to us in this time. So let's just see what's coming up for validation. We got two cards so two represents action. So we have peace and fork in the road. So I definitely feel like with the fork in the road, I want to bring this to our attention and we do have a monkey and we have a llama, which is really interesting. Like a little, it looks like a mix of a llama and a ram and then an owl. So what it's telling me here is like, you know, this ram is like powerful and they're really sturdy, but then in this sturdiness, they're, they're finding a time for them to make a decision, right? So during this Leo full moon, it's like asking you, like, how can you be more playful a little, little bit more? Um, it's almost like this is definitely giving me vibes that it's inner child related for a lot of you for this Leo full moon. So you're going to be revisited a little bit more of like how your inner child didn't feel validated, didn't feel maybe impressed. Like, and this comes a lot with parents. So how did your parents validate you? This is who we look up to in life to be recognized to to impress right because they are a huge part of not only our physical archetype but also our spiritual our belief systems and so much more so start from there your parents and then kind of go from there this is also an opportunity of inner peace so a lot of you are dropping this validation and this is going to open up this like cosmic egg of like the world is your oyster and now that you can put down all of this pressure on yourself for external forces you're finally getting permission to be your heart center to uh, you know receive the intent the attention not attention from a way of feeling of lack of but rather attention that feels good that's like oh i'm in alignment i feel good and i feel at peace with myself and i don't need to second guess anything anything within me. So these two cards are beautiful. The second part that is going to come up for this full moon in Leo on February 5th, 2023, three days before the day of and three days after is another question to ask yourself is what are you being called to love and accept more within yourself, your personality? Now, this is something that recently my teacher, one of my mentors have reminded me, and I thought this would be great. And I'm actually going over this for all those in the Earth Dharma program for the healers training. So it's really interesting when we think of boundaries, right? I think this is something we've all gone through where we've said yes to someone when we really wanted to say no, when we said no to someone when we really wanted to say yes, there's like decision making, right? And this tends to come up a lot when we feel like we don't have power in ourselves or when we feel like we have guilt or something along the lines of the solar plexus as well as the um, sacral chakra it tends to live around that area. Now, if any of you have ever had a time where you have a hard time creating boundaries, so I want you to think about what are some people in your life that you have had a hard time creating boundaries? What are some archetypes? What are some certain types of personalities that you have a hard time of boundaries? Boundaries are kind of in three layers, right? So we have the boundary that is who we are. So like right now, my boundary could be that um, let's say that I am making this video X, Y amount of time, right? That could be my conscious boundary that I'm just doing this video for this amount of time, blah, 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 blah. Let's just say, for example, like I am, I am putting 30 minutes, 40 minutes into this video. Like this is the amount of time or whatever it is. But then my conscious boundary can be that why I am doing that is because I need to be respectful to my energy, right? Why do I have to be respectful to my energy? Because maybe my experience in the past has been that I felt like someone has taken advantage of my energy. So I've been too nice. I've been too whatever. So that could be an example of something that can come up for you is knowing that our boundaries are created based on the personality that our human has created on experiences and the shadow that we've we've lived in and we are in. So what I mean by that is that on a subconscious level, if we aren't aware of certain shadows, so for example, if we aren't aware that we've been spending most of our life you know, trying to validate and be successful based on materialistic things, what we have, the house, the relationship, the, the you know, four, six figures income, whatever that you have been told, 
right? That creates a personality, right? But that personality is created on different things. Maybe when you got, when you were younger, you saw your parents struggle and from them struggling and them pushing to you, I want my children to have better than I had, right? I want you to be more successful. How many times have our parents said that? If you've had an experience like that, put a pink heart emoji down below. If you've had that experience where your parents were like, oh, I want you to, it's almost like I didn't get it. So now you have to have it. Number one, that is putting the pressure of the, to the kid of like, now your successes are on the basis of what I didn't have. Right. We're kind of overstepping a boundary a little bit there. Why are we doing that? Because now their personality has become part of yours. And this is why ancestral healing is so important. You now have created that I need to be successful materialistically because I have the feeling of survival from my ancestral lineage of their struggle. Even though I'm not struggling and I was given more opportunity and everything, I'm on that survival. I'm on that lack. I'm on that, that scarcity perspective. So during this full moon of Leo, it's asking us like, how have we created our boundaries, not only based on what we've experienced in life, but also on the personality that our lineage has had, that our parents have had. And this is very heart-based, okay? So, you know, another thing that comes up with boundaries, I've been abandoned. Maybe your father wasn't emotionally available. Maybe certain friends weren't emotionally available for you. Now, the way that they were emotionally unavailable for you created a lack of trust. Why don't you trust those people? I... I 100% feel like if you were to go back to those things that you don't trust and observe, which is the card that fell out, we have the fox, which is, which is like all about adaptability and adapting through, you know, this life, adapting through um, the personality that you are becoming in evolution of your shadow work and healing, but also the personality in your blueprint. So with your parents and your soul and the life that it's created and the life that it has lived in past lives and so on. So Going back to that, you know, based on that experience, you have now created a boundary. So essentially your personality is based on the scars. And I say scars because their experience is how we're wounded. The scars that have healed or have not healed. And in doing that, that's our way at our lens of life. So you're being called to look through your heart um, look through love and really ask yourself, you know, who have I created? You know, because you have to take that ownership. You have to take that responsibility. Who have you created during this full moon is going to come up? You know, who are you? You're going to have to see all of you. And in doing that, you're going to then recognize these are, this is why I've made those boundaries. This is why I'm comfortable with this and I'm not comfortable with that. Right. But there's going to be so much advancement here because you also have the opportunity to, I want to say shape shift. The reason why I say shape shift, I'm going to pull up my ancestor cards for you guys. So shape shift in the sense that, you know, we go through stages. You may be a mother, but you can also, you're, you're a woman, you're a being, you're a soul. You know, you are a father, but you're also, a, a, you know, a parent or, you know, whatever that you, archetypes that you hold, but we shape shift right? And the different personalities we are holding really makes it a little bit harder to make boundaries sometimes, right? And they can be contradicting. You guys are getting fox spirit again. So this is definitely giving me a sign that during this Leo full moon to work with the fox spirit, call it in, in a meditation that I'll post, that I'm going to post for you guys. Don't worry, I'm going to get you a healing meditation. I'll post it for y'all. Um, but this fox spirit says, trust your talents and changing times. So again, instead of asking for other people to trust your boundaries or to make your boundaries for you or to trust your personality or to trust your who you are, you need to start trusting, right? No, it doesn't matter what anyone thinks. It doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what your parents think. It doesn't matter what your partner thinks. Right now, this full moon's like, what do you think? You need to sit with yourself. What is your opinion? What is your voice? This is really what this Leo full moon is all about. And it's gonna be a little uncomfortable for you guys, which brings me to the next point about this Leo full moon and what you need to know. Feeling uncomfortable being seen. When have you felt uncomfortable being seen? When do you feel uncomfortable when the attention's about you and not about other people? You know, when does that feel like, ooh, I just like, it doesn't sit well with me. This is too much attention. This is too much love. This is too much this. This is too much. When do you reject a gift? 
This is a great part for the Leo full moon. I always tell people when you say no to something and you reject it out of feeling like you don't want to be too much for someone or whatnot, it comes from a lack of worthiness. And when we reject someone's love, you have to ask yourself, how would you feel if someone rejected yours, right? And that might be something that is being mirrored to you. When has your love been rejected? When has someone said, no, it's okay, no problem, right? Like, no, no, I don't want to be too much for you. Has your mother said that a little bit? You know, you're too much. Where did that belief system come from? So how can I celebrate myself being the light instead of others having to be the light for me? That hits really deeply. When the Leo is wounded, and if you have Leo placements, but when our heart is wounded for all of us here, because not all of us are Leos. So when our heart is wounded, we then feel uncomfortable with what we were told we cannot get, right? And this goes back to that story I told you about if your parents have been on survival mode and then you create boundaries. And even though you didn't struggle, you now have the guilt of your parents because of the imprint and you're going through your healing and your shadow work doing this work. You're understanding that you've now created boundaries, not only for your own shadow work, but also the shadow work that was taught and the lessons that were taught from your lineage. So again, this is really deep. It's, it's like, how do you feel seen? A lot of you are going to be put into spotlight. Um, I almost feel like some of you are going to be probably given like an opportunity to be seen, um, especially where it comes to like being seen. It might be on social media. It might be on like people just listening to you more and like going to you for more advice. And that's uncomfortable. But again, like, why not? Like, I feel like everyone's a teacher. Like I always tell people, even my students, those that I teach in the programs and I support in the in, in the shadow work and healing um, in my programs. I always say that you are as much as a teacher as I am as much as a teacher. There is no divide, right? And that's the biggest thing. And it's comfortable. It's uncomfortable being seen, but it's also uncomfortable um, on the other side of that preventing yourself from being seen. Imagine all that work that you have to do, right? So just allow yourself to be seen is really what's coming up. And what part of you doesn't want to be seen right now? And why is that? The card that your ancestors are pulling out for you, you guys have got this last month as well. Wait for important information. Okay, so again, with the being seen and uncomfortable, this might be something that will kind of um, be triggered through an event, specifically, um, maybe, you know, you're put in an uncomfortable situation. Someone's asking for your opinion. Um, maybe, you know, someone doesn't respond to you, uh, your message or something. There feels like there's a communication that's coming up. But in that, you know, that is based on you just, you know, subconsciously not wanting to be seen. And then you thought that you were expressing to the person that you wanted to be seen. Do you see what I'm saying? So for example, it's like saying to someone, Oh, no, 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 it's fine. You don't have to give me a, a Christmas gift or a birthday gift. And then, you know, the person comes and they don't give you a gift. And then how do you react to that? Do you feel unseen or do you accept that you've already told the person you didn't want to give a gift? What part of your inner child gets mad about that, right? Um, the next thing that you need to know about this Leo full moon is triggers are opportunities to get feedback. Triggers are opportunities to get feedback. I'm going to stress that again and again. What I mean by triggers are an opportunity to get feedback is that when we get triggered, there's something that comes up in our nervous system. There's something that comes up on a subconscious layer, right? This card is flipping up. It's for you. So perception. We have ear. Air is the element of the heart chakra, which is all Leo. This is your this is your chakra. So again, we're really working on the heart here, the lungs here. Shift your perception, right? How is this trigger not, oh my God, I healed this already. Oh, I did this. Or how can you just receive it, right? The more that we resist something, the more it persists, right? So this is like the triggers of validation, the triggers of impression, and the triggers of, you know, bypassing something. And I'm going to go into that a little bit more. All those things relate to this full moon. Rejection is a way that the universe is protecting you. So some of you are finding out that maybe you worked on a project or you're waiting for a response on something. This could be a response from a certain entity. Like I want to say organization, whether you applied to something, whether it's a school or a program or a job or something, and you're finding out that maybe, they didn't receive it or maybe that 
you know, they ended up didn't seeing it and hiring someone else and you're feeling really triggered. You're feeling unworthy about that. Don't see that as a, like, oh my God, I missed that. It's just, okay, maybe you weren't meant to get that job. Maybe spirit was protecting you from something and maybe spirit's actually giving you this trigger so you can work on your inner self-confidence and aligning with yourself and your inner power. So when that better opportunity presents, you are so ready to receive it full heartedly. So again, rejection is so, is a part of life, right? And unfortunately in this Western culture and in this world, like we're told that when we are rejected, that we need to, you know, not feel it when we are rejected that it is bad, but actually rejection is such a beautiful medicine that can teach us so much. What causes suffering is us rejecting the rejection itself. So, you know, it's protecting you, especially when it comes to the heart. How have you, we consider rejection as a bad thing? So in your life, when you have been rejected, how have you seen it as bad? There's no bad and good, right? And this is the biggest thing for Leos that maybe it's a soul contract for you guys in a lesson is like, ah, oh, bad and good. Like, what do you mean? They burnt me and they, da, 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 like, I'm ready to go. But it's like, no, like, this is not bad or good. It's just, it is, right? It is what it is. We have to accept it. And this is something that, again, in the spiritual world, a lot of people don't talk about this. Like, just accept. Accept what it is. We don't have to over-validate it. We don't need to over-analyze it. It's just, it is, right? Um, so again, ask yourself that. Some of you are being asked to redo something again. Um, and again, this is, this is a lot of heart, but accept it. Like, this is supporting you. Don't seek that this is a rejection of lack of validation. Every one of you, it's your birthright to be worthy. I want you to write that down down below. It is my birthright to be worthy, right? And um, see what comes up when you say this. Now, speaking of birthright to be worthy, when we talk about triggers of opportunities and feedback and how rejection is protection, we get the hunter. So the hunter is like, I definitely feel like a masculine energy and it's tracked down your fears and desires, Okay. <laughs> And they have antlers, which brings the ram energy again, so structured, so like, oh, it's like holy warrior energy. And what this card is telling us is that where our fears lie, which is what's happening with this Leo full moon, is your fears of being accepted, your fears of having your someone accept you or something accept you or getting validated, whether that is like more people coming to your business or whether that is your partner proposing to you or whether that is like you, just yourself, you validating yourself and the desire of like feeling that voice inside of you. Where your fear is, is your biggest opportunity, is your biggest light behind that. So where there is darkness, there is the brightest light that is wanting to come out and it's definitely coming from the heart space. So ask yourself, where can I track down those fears? Where are my fears lying in my body? And where you can find your fears, you will find the deepest things that you truly want. Now you got to claim it. Okay. So track down all of the fearful thoughts and feelings. When you find them, you will find your desires too. So the hunter here is similarly, the hunter helps you connect with the energy that both fearful and fearless, right? They're both the same. If you're super fearful, it's the same. What happens? Your hands get sweaty. You, you start to get nervous. Your heart starts to race. That is the same feeling of excitement and adrenaline. How can we shift that, right? It is the adrenaline that wants to channel through us, but instead we're focused on all the things that could go wrong. We're focusing on all the things that we don't have. We're focusing on all the things that we're not accepted. We're not a yes, but actually that, that no is the biggest blessing that you can receive. Your fears are the only things that are standing between you and what your desire is at this time. If some of you have been feeling really unmotivated, like it's like, okay, I know what I want to manifest, Chica. I've done the whole, you know, manifestation this past new moon. I did all the things. Now I'm like, where is it? Like, where? come on. Like, why aren't you showing up? It's like, we're showing up, but hello, do you believe yourself too? Like, so many people don't put this credit. And I want to say this specifically about healers and space holders. You know, for the longest time, I used to say, and this is anyone who holds space, we're talking teachers, we're talking, you, everyone holds space. You hold space for your family, whatever. So this is for everyone, okay? How many times have you said, you know, it's not me, it's just the Reiki energy. How many times have you said, oh, like, it's no problem. You know, I love cooking anyways. No, no, you have channeled that energy too. It's a co-creation with the universe. It's a co-creation of consciousness. So when we're talking about fearless and fearful, it's a co-creation, right? 
where there's fear spirit's going to example like it really push that fear more because that's what you're focusing on that's where your energy is so universe is like oh you want more fear let's put some more in there right you want more triggers let's put some more in there you want more rejection let's put some more in here so again this leo full moon is about anchoring the other side of that it's balancing in the yin and yang right that's essentially what's happening. I feel like this top card wants to talk. Not for you. Again, rejection. This card's come fortune, right? With great fortune comes rejection. With great fortune, with great success comes rejection. If we were accepted all the time, you would not be able to bring gratitude for what is, right? Our human, your soul dropped here to experience emotion, to experience all things. And that includes the fear. That includes the fearless, right? Right. We need to have ebbs and flows. But what part of you is not accepting that? I just went through a huge channel with you guys. <laughs> Hope that resonated. Let me know where you at. Where are we at with this channel so far? Okay. The next part that you need to know about this full moon in Leo on February 5th, 2023, three days before the day of and three days after is that perfectionism stems from not being able to seek validation or being uncomfortable accepting the journey of your soul and all its layers. When we have perfectionism, it comes from seeking something. You are feeling lost. Why are you feeling lost? Nothing is to be lost, but what is lost will be found. So what that means is that when we perfect things and we practice and we practice, yes, there's that part that we're passionate about it, Sheikha. I'm, I care about it, yes, but deep inside, when we go back to boundaries, there's boundaries of the conscious, the subconscious, which is the personality, and then the layer of the shadow. So when we look at the full moon in Leo, what is coming into this full moon? It's bringing what's into the light. What's the moon? It's bright, right? When it's a full moon night, everything goes bright. And why does it bring the brightness? It's because it's bringing that brightness into your soul. So here it's like saying that what's behind perfecting something? What's really underneath that? So it's like, what is the validation that you want from getting this X, you know? By working hard and getting this amount of money, what is it going to prove to you? By working hard in your relationship and getting the relationship to be this expectation within this type of lifestyle, what is it going to do for you? By writing and scripting your manifestation, what is it doing for you? And it's not about what it does for you at the end. It's what it's doing for you during, which is the biggest thing that people forget. You know, everyone focuses on the end result, but it's, it's the energy of the journey that is so important and the energy of receiving it. It's not just the energy of receiving it. So again, you know, when we seek that validation of perfectionism, it does not exist. And then we find ourselves emotionally unfulfilled. So the Leo full moon's permission to be fulfilled is to be fearless, is to be powerful, it's to have that heart fully opened and say that I don't need to be validated. I don't even need all those things. You know, I'm so disconnected by the the getting more ribbons, the inner child that wants more A pluses and wants more validation from the teacher and like the way that the system has created ways of, you know, categorizing people and making them better and worse and more successful. Not like that does not exist, guys, does not exist. Right. But that is something that you are doing in this journey and learning as working with the moon is understanding that we don't need to do that anymore drop the validation. Okay. So we are accepting parts of your soul. What parts of your soul are you on this journey right now to accept? Write that down. What parts of your soul are you on this journey to accept? This is what's going to help you. And during three days before the day of and three days after work on that, like focus on that. The next part you need to know about this full moon in Leo. I'm almost done. Don't worry. We're going deep. So just let it sit. Take some breaths with me. It's a good one. Like this is a really good full moon. I know we're covering so much, but honestly, fam, like this is hitting, this is hitting it because it's like, you just did the lunar new year. We just had the Aquarius and new moon. You're feeling pumped. You know what you want. You made the, you did the things right now. It's like, let's just take out the validation so we can stay on track, right? That's really what it comes down to. 
Be aware that not using spiritual tools as a way to escapism. Now, the biggest thing that's been coming up for me is like, when we go to Leo and Leo's very heart centered, you know, love, loves to be loved, but also loves to give love. And they will dedicate all of that to you. They will give you everything, right? It's so, it's like funny because I'm a, I'm a Scorpio son. So for me, it's like, I'm dedicated to you to death. Like we are literally together. But if that, like Leo's too, if you burn that, I will give you the fire. I will throw the fire to you. And that is what happens when the shadow gets triggered. So here, what happens sometimes when that energy is so powerful and you're so emotional, right? Leo's emotion, motion, that's okay. But expressing it has been something that maybe their inner child was suppressed. And ask yourself, what emotion were you suppressed of? And what did, what emotion did you or what thing that you did instead to, as you suppressed it, to get validation that you weren't that. I was not too emotional. I was not crying too much. I was not too angry. I was not too loud. Like what things did you do to make that personality? We need to, we're cutting that out, right? We're, we're, we're removing it saying it's okay. We're giving it love, but then we're also seeing who you are. We're allowing you to be fully bare in that, in that truth in your soul. So here, be aware, like, are you you know, having a working on crystals a lot, but you have like 10 million bracelets. Like, how are you giving your power away? How are you giving your heart and love away? Your, your, your spirit, soul energy. You are a very powerful being each and every single one of you. So here it's like asking you, it's like, how can you just let go of these spiritual tools thinking that it is helping you and it is more better than you. You're putting it on a pedestal, right? And again, that's seeking validation materialism, right? And we see that a lot with spiritual, same with medicines, ceremonies. As a medicine woman, I see this a lot. Some people who come and approach me and they want to sit in retreat or they want to sit in ceremony. I don't accept every single person. The reason why is because sometimes they're putting that retreat on a pedestal. You know, I can't give you promises to that because at the end of the day, no matter who it is or what it is, you have to anchor that in, right? You cannot use tools and spirituality and all the crystals and all the sessions and all the medicines as a way to validate what you are trying to heal. Your intention is everything with this full moon. Your intention of how you see yourself, your intention of what are you calling in, right? This full moon's about continuing to call in within and not seeking outside. It's very internal. It's very emotional. It's very heart centered. So I really encourage you to be interceptive. And if you're on your moon cycle, if you're on your period, even more so because you're going to really feel more. So it's a very powerful thing. You are crawling out of the cave at the end of the three days after of feeling powerful for some of you. And some of you are going to feel like you're walking for the first time and you're like, oh my gosh, what is, I feel so bare without this validation, but it is a very powerful place to be and stick with it. So that is what you need to know about this full moon. I'm going to go into what plant to work with. Now, when I sat with it, guys, and you know, I sit with it and I see what plants want to channel. And there was only one, there's only one that wanted to work with you. And we're going to take it because I, I really resonate with that. And it is mama cacao. It is the cacao energy. It is cacao ceremonial cacao. And for some of you, you might've experienced it. If you have not, I'm going to share what cacao is. So full moon in Leo, cacao wanted to work with you. Cacao is the drink or the medicine of the gods. And in many cultures, they would give this to many priestesses and um, many chiefs and many, and just people in the circle and ceremony. And it was a way of opening heart to find compassion. So what this cacao wants to support you with, as you sit with your cacao and what you can do is do it with water, or you can do it with, um, you know, an alternative milk, like cashew milk, oat milk, whatever feels good. Maybe put a little honey in it if you'd like. Um, cinnamon. I like to work with whatever plants call these. So I like to put a little sprinkle of cinnamon. Some people put um, cayenne pepper, a little sprinkle of that, vanilla essence, whatever feels good. And when you sit with it, I really want you to think about how am I going to send love and compassion to the parts of me that is wanting to seek validation because those parts of me can feels like it can't fully accept that. And that's okay. You know, I'm not going to be here to be that one of those spiritual people are like, let's get over it. Let's just pass it. Like, no, we're not bypassing because we're going back to that. We're not bypassing. We are not perfect. There's no such thing as perfectionism, but there is a lot to do about feeling all of it and learning lessons. And what you're learning here is that the parts of you that were seeking validation are the parts of you that felt abandoned. 
And during the cacao, as you sit with this cacao, we are sending love to those parts of you and we're feeling the power of those parts of you. How are those parts of you very powerful? What are they here to teach you about loving yourself? What are they here to teach you about, you know, triggers and how to bring compassion to triggers, how to bring compassion to rejection, how to bring forgiveness? That's where you can eventually find yourself is forgiving yourself for not, you know, fully seeing yourself, forgiving yourself and the other person who probably might have done that to you because you are fully coming into that space of love. And that will be hard for some of you, but that's okay. We take it bit by bit and it's it's not supposed to be easy, right? We have lifetimes to do this healing, but the first thing is we're going to celebrate that we're doing it here and we're experiencing it. Now, cacao is the medicine of the heart chakra. It helps and it's really good for the metabolism. It has a lot of physical properties. I know some of you are going to ask me where I get my cacao from. I get mine from Costa Rica, from a woman who's like in the middle of a, yeah, like it's, it's not like online. But if you want an online one, I really highly suggest Fly Cacao. It's the one that I used to get before I found my cacao person. Um, but that one is really good. And I would suggest just the cacao. Don't get the ceremonial mixture one because I just want you to sit with just cacao. Maybe even not even put cinnamon unless you feel called to put the plants. Obviously, follow your intuition. But just sit with the medicine on the day of the full moon, three days before the day of after. Take out caffeine. No coffee. I know some of you are going to be like, Sheikah, what? If you really want to go deep with this, no coffee for a week of the moon and just sit with the medicine every day in the morning, you'll thank me later. Okay. And sit with the intention of what I talked to you about. What parts of you are sticking to impress or validate outside of you? And also what parts of you is really being called to be seen, right? To be fully seen and not feel abandoned. So those are your, your, this is your reading. This is what we're feeling. How are you feeling? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to now send some affirmations your way just to write them down in your journal. And again, remember, if you're loving all this, wait till you see the journal and the planner that I have planned for you guys. It's going to be amazing. We're going to go through, there's going to be rituals for you guys for every mood cycle for the whole year. You're also going to get an opportunity to have like little um, shadow work prompts. Like you're going to love this on top of that. So make sure you put yourself to the email list so you don't forget. Okay. So we have four cards for you. So the first card is, and I just want to mention four cards and the heart chakra is the fourth chakra. <laughs> so let me just say that. So grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So if you resonated with that, write that down, down below in the comment section to confirm and say it is so. The next affirmation we have is change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So just knowing that things move, you know, our emotions that are being brought into the surface, especially for you Leos out there, like it's okay and it is safe to express your emotions. You're not too big. You're not too, too much. Don't put that in that space. You know, you are accepted fully. So here's just asking you, how can you bring movement in those emotions internally and externally? Um, doubt. So I release the need to know all answers. I release the need to know all answers. Write that down, down below. If you're feeling doubt and you want to confirm that, write that in your journal. I release the need to know all answers. And the last card we have for you guys is I know that there is no greater goal than love. I know that there is no greater goal than love, that success really comes to love. And this is so funny because when I was at the gym today, this literally was a great reminder for me was like, at the end of the day, when we want to have money, when we want to create perfectionism, when we want validation, really what it comes down to is we just want to be loved, right? That part of us that felt abandoned wants to be loved. That part of us that felt feels like we can't accept fully who we are, that self-confidence and that self-assurance and that self, you know, decision assurance as well wants to be love. The part of us that holds the grief of someone losing or being left or, you know, removing a relationship or just, we want peace. We want love at the end of the day. So find yourself and ask yourself, how can I come back to love? That's going to bring you the greatest success. I can say this right now out of all the ceremonies that I've held, but also what I've done for myself, love comes back to that. 
So when we are not in the center of our love, we are actually seeking validation of success. And when we seek validation of success, we are literally running and making our human meat suit run to our coffin. And with when we run to our coffin, then we're not really being able to receive all that love and receive the experience of being human. So remember that, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this was a little bit deeper, but it just felt really cool just hanging out with you guys. And um, there's so much that came up. Let me know what resonated with you down in the video, in the comments. I love reading them. They're super fun and that makes me so excited. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, put notification bell so you don't miss a video. I do these videos every single month for you guys and there's more to come. And don't forget to add yourself to the email list because I got that journal for you that's launching on February 5th, 2023. Mark your calendar, email list fam. You're gonna get a little extra something something. So you'll thank me later. And if you're interested in going deeper into your healing, please come and apply to the retreats. I'd love to see you there. I'd love to connect with you, hug you, and just hold you in ceremony. Happy Leo full moon. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.